sketchbook tour day. Let's do our sketchbook. Um, welcome to my channel. How are you going? Hope you're going well. If you don't know me, my name is Sophie McPike and I'm an artist based in Melbourne, Australia. So I draw a lot of nature and trees and flowers and it's very illustrative, very colourful, a lot of like 60s, 70s colour palettes, lots of uh, soft curvy bodies, um, gentleness, flow and rhythm. It's my vibe, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but that's pretty much it. Um, and that's what you will find inside this little baby. I just wanted to tell you that my little sketchbook is like a journal to me. It's my safe place. It's where I can be authentically me and where I can articulate myself in drawings rather than writing and, vis and verbal speak. <laughs> Speaking, talking, words are hard. So um, let's let's go and do a little flip through of the sketchbook. I'm going to take you through um, some of the drawings, the stories behind them, thoughts and feelings, materials, mediums. I'll get to it all, hopefully. And um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Like and subscribe. See, good at words. <laughs> like and subscribe and um, show me that you care and let me know how you use your sketchbook. I would love to know. Um, great. I'll see you in the touring part of the video. So please enjoy. Okay. <laughs> So here we are. This is a lovely little sketchbook. Very simple, nothing fancy. I got it from a shop in Melbourne called Zeta Florence. It's got no brand, but the paper, it's it's not too thick that it feels fancy, but it's not too thin that it feels flimsy. Like it doesn't hold it doesn't hold wet media that well but it kind of does in a way I don't know I kind of like how it crinkles the pages and makes it messy I just I love the messiness um that this this paper can withhold my messiness um as you can see I love to fill my sketchbook with lots of stickers that I collect over the time that I have the sketchbook so I'm just here labeling the artists that I have used to fill my sketchbook with. I do this every time. I don't know why. I just love giving each one its own little personality with the uh, stickers that I collect. And it's a good way to display the artwork that I've collected too. So here's a quick, quick flip through. Um, it's a chunky one. <laughs> it's been a really fun sketchbook to go through. Um, I used it from April 2021 to Feb 2022. So this is my first page. I like to just stick in random stuff, fill it with random scribbles. Um, yeah, just moving on. You know, I don't try not to make a big deal of the first page or the first couple of pages. Here is my uh, a Patreon print design sketch that I did. This page you can see that I've tried to design a few um, ceramic pieces which I ended up making and I did a little life drawing from a dodgy paper stream. Um, on this page I just felt like drawing flowers and bodies and I wanted to simplify them as much as possible. Like who needs arms all the time? Not these ladies, they don't. <laughs> so that was just like something for fun, just a, just a, a play, a page of play here as well I love to do a lot of stream of consciousness type drawings so with this one here I kind of just started with one eye and then added an element and then another element and another element and I probably did it while I was watching tally some mindless stuff um, every month I do a couple of art prompt days and this is an art prompt day that I did for my patreons where we did a collage illustrative collage and that was really fun um, mermaid it was it was probably mermaid time and 
mermaid is where you draw a mermaid for every day of may and i i think i only managed to do two or three in that month you know unreal ex un unrealistic expectations i can't be doing a drawing every day all the time <laughs> This was around the time that I was in Adelaide as well for a big art market, which I made a video of. Uh, I'm not sure, is it for my patrons? I can't remember if it's public or just for my patrons, but anyway. <laughs> this is another patron uh, print sketch that I did. This sketchbook has a lot of patron work in it. Um, you know, I use it as a journal, but I also use it for work. This page here, um, these are sketches for a painting that I did for my dad um, based on his beautiful greyhound Billy who passed away. Um, and I will show you what the artwork looks like. Uh, just I'll just place it here. Um, so it was a really fun experiment where I really went abstract and fun with the colours. It was great. Here's a little art day I did with friends, some silly art prompts. Always a good time. And this was a page where I felt like drawing, but I didn't feel like coming up with any ideas or anything like that. So I just did a page of scribbles. Yeah, love to scribble. <laughs> I'm very pro scribble. This is another art prompt day where um, I was still on the scribble bandwagon and I wanted to use the scribble as like, a background for negative space we're going to play with negative space and then positive space using the same shapes yeah kind of a fun experiment oh yeah these are the markers that I've been using lately um, throughout the sketchbook I actually use these markers all the way through these sketchbooks uh, it's a Tombow marker and it's good it's got a brush side and a small nib side and I love it. I love how colorful it is and graphic it can be and you can also like kind of paint with it. You, you can see that um, further on in the sketchbook but yeah a lot of a uh, lot of fun using those Tombow markers. Here I was just listening to uh, an old-timey song that I loved. Yeah, on the next page is a bit of a nothing page. There is like a sticker design for Patreon, but otherwise it's just like trialing some inks. There's a Hannikin art uh, sticker on there. This was another art prompt day, one of my favorite art prompt days where I got everyone to fill a page with squares and then within those squares, uh, shapes and colors and just have fun making shapes and colors. And it was just like, a good time <laughs> and a great way to fill up a sketchbook as well really enjoyed that one I like to do a lot of uh, life drawing but like really loose silly life drawings in my sketchbooks these are some uh, preliminary sketches for a really large painting that I ended up doing been really into like quilt vibe patchwork kind of stuff <laughs> in my sketches and drawings and paintings lately. This is a weird and wonderful landscape that I did as an experiment. It's based off a photo that I took um, at the lake. And I just wanted to play with crazy colors, layering. Um, I'm using Prismacolor pencils in this piece and they just layer so beautifully. It's great. I did a splash of ink first, um, which it's hard to see, but that's what I did. And then I went over the top with my Prismacolor pencil. So my lovely friend Mel, who goes by the Maud of Moss Forest, a while back, Mel did a string of live Instagram videos where she cur curated a bunch of really beautiful reference photos of people that were like, it was like from the Met Gala um, Florence and the Machine just so we could all get together and kind of have a little drawing club and practice and I went to it every week you'll see a bunch of those drawings in coming up but so much fun again using Tombow markers as you can see I like to just throw my brush down all over my sketchbook pages whatever painting I'm working on at the time I will kind of use my sketchbook as somewhere where I can put swatches down or kind of like brush away excess paint onto it. And I just love drawing over that and layering over that. 
it just creates fun it gives the page like no pressure because it's already been marked uh, yeah these are some uh, some designs some more drawing with mel up there i did a bunch of uh, emojis which actually you can find on instagram and use them in your stories if you search for my name very fun very cute here's some more drawings from mel's live streams and just some doodles some scribbles some sticker designs for my Patreon rewards at the time. The big dandelion theme. Got my, pa my sketchbook go a little bit wet, a little bit smudged. That's okay, I don't mind. These, this is, uh, this was a thing that I started doing in this sketchbook. I went on to randomstreetview.com and came across random little snippets of the world and would give myself three minutes or less or more sometimes to draw them. And I used the Tombow markers. You can see it's really painterly. You can layer with them really beautifully. I had so much fun doing these little snippets, just like I went a bit wild on them <laughs> for a while, as you can see. They were so fun. It was a great way to loosen up. I was really getting into doing landscapes uh also these drawings here of the people are when i went onto instagram and i just searched the hashtag my face or outfit of the day and i just drew a few people that really stood out to me uh, i don't really draw in this kind of this way very often really it's not realistic but you know like stylized um people real people so it's, it's fun to do every so often yeah here we have the little they're like little uh, travel vignettes, I feel like, but they are also from the randomstreetview.com using Tombow markers, just a limited palette, very scribbly. Each one was maybe five minutes, five to eight minutes, I think. I also did them during a massive power outage. We had days of no power <laughs> and I'd saved them all on my phone or something like that, uh, luckily. So I spent some time drawing those. That was so much fun. It's a really good thing to go back and do every so often. When you're feeling a bit like tight, you need to loosen up. Just do some random street views. Great. And life drawing. This was the first time I'd been life drawing in like two years. And I was so excited. So, so excited. I had a great time. Uh, use the Tombow markers again here. And just was really loose and playful. When I do life drawing, I really like to push my forms and the flow and exaggerate a lot of things and just like feel the movement of it rather than making sure it's really realistic I want it to like look right and still play with proportion but I want it to like kind of yeah I still wanted it to make sense you know um so anyway it's a fun another fun experiment that I like doing in my sketchbook just really pushing forms and shapes and maybe that's my animation background my illustrative background is to really play with um, play with shapes and rhythm and flow life drawing is the best way to skill up like seriously life drawing do it <laughs> if you want to build skills quickly you must it is essential. Just some doodling, some playing in my sketchbook. These Tom, I, I seriously, all I could think of was drawing with these Tombow markers. Here's a little sketchbook page of uh, another Patreon design that I did. Uh, it was during the time that my little puppy Greyhound was getting dissexed and uh, I was feeling like all I wanted to do was cuddle her. <laughs> I went to a gig via Zoom, the first time I ever went to a gig via Zoom, and I drew a couple of the people in the audience there. That was a fun little challenge, just on a funny page with some scribbles and some life drawings. You know, not from life, these ones this time. These were just from, like, a YouTube video um, or multiple YouTube videos. I uh, really had fun with this one. I had a good day, good drawing day, lots of shapes and um, interesting positions and poses so scribbly so fast these ones are all probably 30 seconds I think they were 30 seconds 30 seconds to a minute maybe or less that's my favorite time <laughs> that's my favorite timed uh 
That's my favorite amount of time for a life drawing pose, like 30 seconds. Oh, this was a um, still life challenge that I did with my friends, Hannah and Ash. Um, Hannah put together this little configuration of goodies and I drew, I painted them. That's with watercolor. Here's just a page. That was kind of like a nah kind of day. <laughs> oh, this is a page where I was planning for my calendar, for my 2022 calendar. I started with the idea of wanting to do picnics, um, but I didn't really, it wasn't feeling it and it sort of evolved into places to nap. It was in the middle of lockdowns and that sort of thing. There was a lot of napping going on. <laughs> so I wanted to make illustrations based on nice places to nap and uh, turned it into a calendar. I also managed to work it out that it would be during October, during Inktober or daily ink painting drawing October <laughs> challenge. What I did was uh, for the first 12 days of October, I painted um, a piece of this nice places to nap, which also became my calendar. It was hard and I actually did do one a day and uh, I had 12 days of solid work. <laughs> I also filmed each one um, and made a reel of each one and uploaded it and did all that kind of stuff. So it was a pretty hecker's October for me. <laughs> um, after Mel finished doing her uh, regular live streams on Instagram, we just went ahead and kept kept it up one-on-one -on -one just together um, and this was a bit of a breakthrough day for me and I, I played with a lot of negative space and cutting in like I would scribble down some really washy base pinks greens whatever colors of the flowers and then with the greens I would cut in around the edges of the flowers as you can see here to kind of like show that they're flowers but I kept it really vague and loose anyway it was really fun and it was a yeah it was a really fun realization that I can keep it really loose and scribbly and just think about layers and think about negative space a lot more when drawing landscapes and it, yeah definitely was a level up moment for me that day here I am this is the beginning of October this is where I started making my paintings and uh yeah, you can see each page I have kind of used as like, I don't know, like a guide for the day. So I would do some little drawings and I will get out the inks that I wanted to use for that day, like the color palette for that day, and just like splashed them on the page, wiped my brush clean on it. Also like tried to figure out how the colors look next to each other, how they bled together. Uh, yeah, and I really love how it it looked. I really loved this chunk of time in this sketchbook. Just so colourful, so silly, so many funny little drawings, so much working out. You can see my brain like, how do I make this happen? I don't always sketch when I do final artworks, but um, it's, sometimes it's good to just figure things out. So they're not fully formed sketches or anything like that. They're just little ditties of ideas here and there. This page here was during a bad art day. I mean, maybe you think the drawings look nice and maybe they do look nice and that's fine. But I just wasn't feeling it. I was just having a bad art day. <laughs> and they happen sometimes. Sometimes they happen often. Um, and this was just one of those days where I kind of just had to force myself to sit down and draw. Otherwise, I would have found myself slipping into a never want to draw again kind of a moment. I was also um, in the middle of October, uh, this October ink challenge slash calendar challenge. So I was starting to feel a bit burnt out. I was getting to that halfway point where I was like, I could just stop forever or keep going. And I just had to keep going had to get it done. Also, I needed to get the calendar illustrations done as soon as I could so I could get it into production and get it selling and that sort of thing before um, Christmas and the new year would come up. Yeah, <laughs> it was a big time. It was a big time, but it was, it's also so cool to see how many artworks 
you're capable of making if you really like sit down and challenge yourself but you know it's not super realistic because I was so tired and so 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 burnt out for a long time after October finished I think probably almost for the rest of the year yeah <laughs> here's another drawing day with Mel lots of bright colors looseness I was still feeling like I just finished doing the October challenge and I was like oh I have to draw but I forced myself to do it a little bit and actually had a really fun day doing something completely different you can see these beetroot ones I ended up doing an extra 13 like an extra sorry an extra day 13 an extra drawing just you know cause just cause <laughs> This side here with all the blobby um, bodies is from another art prompt day that I did with my patrons. Oh, the good ones. And uh, yeah, like I hadn't drawn for a whole week. So this is another uh, day with Mel where we drew together. Another another kind of day of off, off and on. Like some of the, like half of the drawing I really liked, the other half of the drawings this day. I was not feeling it like I feel like my cup was very shallow <laughs> it was hard to really have a full cup to be able to have yeah a full cup of like gumption to get moving to do artwork that in that t in that period um, because I was so burnt out from drawing every day painting every day in October so um, I would have a little bit and then I would use it all up really quickly and then be like ugh, done. So this is probably a little bit after another couple of weeks. I had fun just being really loose, doing these like little patchwork quilt style moments, <laughs> laying in the garden. That's all I wanted to do, just lay in the garden. This is another drawing day with Mel where I used Prismacolors and I also used a little bit of ink. Just love the way those Prismas layer, even when the colors don't go together. It's just something about it just works. <laughs> This is a bit of a nothingness kind of day. Drew the doggies. Um, that's Pia on the left and Bibi on the right. Big smile. Pia's got a stick. Here is another little art prompt day with my patrons. Just a silly cut and paste. I used a little kit from my friend Sophia Gracias. So this is a planning day for a Patreon print. It was a in November so it was a year it was a, like a celebration of being on Patreon for one year so I wanted to gift all my patrons two prints instead of one print so I was trying to do like an introvert extrovert kind of theme and I ended up see these two little uh, pale squares those are the concept drawings that I ended up going with none of the rest of the stuff this is an en plein air day that I did with my friends, Sean and Jackie. There's a really cute little video of us, of our day on Patreon. It was, it's, yeah, it was just so sweet. We were all like shy. We all wanted to do en plein air drawings, but too shy to do it by ourselves. So we got together and did it together and just kind of sat down, blethered all day, ate chippies and drew the trees that were in front of us. And it was just so relaxing and nice and I just scribbled a lot and drew bits. <laughs> really no pressure at all that day. It was really great. And there's some little daisies. And this page was a bit of a nothing page as well. Oh, here was another art prompt. A lot of art prompts <laughs> in this sketchbook um, where we did some, um, a little comic, mini comic. This is a page where I did some sketches for my brother. He commissioned me to do a piece for his partner who loves swimming. That was the only uh, prompt that I got from him. It had to be swimming and like curvy body kind of, you know, just my style. Um, here's a little teapot in my garden. I sat outside with the doggies, drew this teapot in my garden, which I've had since I was a kid. My, it was my mum's and I took it when I left home <laughs> like 12 years ago. Yeah, so that's a fun page. A bit green. It was another drawing day with Mel. Drew some flowers. Not much happened that day. It was very small. Designed some uh, Christmas ornaments. I make ceramics as well, so I made a bunch of ceramic ornaments. 
this is a day that I got together with all my patrons on Discord and we did a drawing game a lot of silly times. It was really nice. We should do more of that, shouldn't we? This is yeah, a good time. A good silly time. Which is like the only times that I want in my sketchbooks. Good silly times. <laughs> I spilled some ink on this page, but I ended up just drawing directly over it. Um, and I also used a pen and ink, a pen and nib, a, what do you call them? A glass dip pen with these drawings at the top here. So those fine uh, lime green lines are all by using a glass dip pen. She cute. She kind of reminds me of my mum. <laughs> Here's another Patreon um, design page. My friend Sean gave me... Um, a palette. She let me steal a bunch of her Himi gouaches. So that's the little uh, <laughs> swatches that I did for the piece that I made for Patreon that month. Um, and here's the palette, the aftermath of the palette <laughs> of all of the gouache that I pinched from Sean's palette. But it's fine because you can reactivate it again with water. So I can use that palette for a long time. And that's just like a trial printout that I did which got a bit funny <laughs> drawing on my dog just playing with colors just more studies of pieces of uh, photos that I found on Pinterest with Mel a bit different feels a bit stiff that day I feel like here's another art prompt where I asked people to choose two elements I chose dog and flower and choose two color I chose the greens and the purpley pinks and just fill all the squares using only those things. And um, it's one of those challenges where you think you've come up with all the ideas you can halfway through, but you have to just keep pushing through. And there's always more ideas that come out. Here's some uh, more little snail friends. These were for like the mini originals. I also have a mini original tier where I do four mini originals every month. So that's uh, some little sketches of the snail friend to match the print for the mini originals. This is a page of drawings that I did based on prompts from my Instagram followers. They would give me a couple of emojis and I just drew a little, little thing. Some more life drawing. Love a life drawing. This is just a silly little page. <laughs> With a great self-portrait, highly, highly realistic. This page is a bit funny too. It's a dog quilt that I did. And these uh, medieval <laughs> things are Christmas cards that my brother gave me. So I had to keep them because they're funny. This is the 1st of January. This page is the mark of the new year. And to start off the new year, I just did some silly drawings. <laughs> That's it. That's all I need to say about that page. Silly drawings. Oh, this was the beginning of um, a piece that I did for a group show called Ultra Gallery. It's for the Locals 2022 show. So that was really fun. I was meant to react to what it's like. What's the future going to be like? And for me, it was like living in the trees, the forest. Everyone like has hidden away and like just lives in the forest now so this is my page of trying to like work out how to draw that how I want my characters to look and the feeling and yeah and obviously I was painting another picture at the time and I just used my sketchbook as a place to wipe my brush down on all of on this page so I'd already drawn the drawings and then I went in on top with the paint later yeah, so there's some more trying to work out what I wanted to do and some color palettes from that same day. Um, yes. I think the reason why I like to throw my paint down on my sketchbook before I draw is because it's less pressure. The page has already got paint on it. It's already got marks made on it and it's already something. So there's no pressure to be looking at a white page. You know, sometimes it's really daunting with a white page in front of you. Um, so to have some scribbly, messy paint splats and scribbles 
just really helps kind of ground me and make me feel like I don't need to worry about making something perfect or beautiful. Yeah, here's a little comic I made. I actually turned that into a zine, um, which you can find on the Patreon. <laughs> Um, and we just passed a bunch of life drawings as well. Uh, here is uh, some plans for the four mini originals for January. So they were all based also on that forest idea. I ran with it. <laughs> I was having so much fun. I also, also made um, a line of washi tape with the similar kind of design um, partnered with the washi station you can get some washi tape with my design on it very exciting here's a page of paint splodges just because i thought it looked good and the color palette was nice <laughs> that's you know that's all that that page needed um some notes from other artists from artwork that i bought oh this was february festive feb so it was a hourly comic day so every February the 1st I tried to do hourly comic um so yeah this was just just my day woke up with the dogs watered the plants that was the day I got my booster shot and then we went out for breakfast which was very yummy we bought lots of vegetables and then back home you can see highly realistic you can see I'm watching a twitch streamer and doing my Etsy printing prints you know being a good shop girl um, and I painted a big leaf and I got tired, listened to some music and then I did some seed sewing and then we took the doggies for a long walk um, and we went up a hill that was way too steep. It was a terrible time. <laughs> so we came home all tired. I'm doing this new job, which I haven't told anyone about yet. But anyway, I needed all my identity, all my identities to be confirmed. So there's me trying to confirm my identity. While Thomas is cooking dinner, I'm playing on my Nintendo Switch with the doggies. Dinner's ready. <laughs> we are on the couch eating our messy dinner, watching TV. Um, of course, the dog's surrounded. And then there we are in bed, getting ready to go sleep. This was another art prompt day with my patrons where we made rubber stamps. A um, bit messy. I just used that page as a messy messy time <laughs> this is an older lino print that I made and that I just stamped in my sketchbook because I I liked the design and I wanted to remember it and sometimes it's nice to go back on your old designs and look at them from time to time just to be like oh yeah I had some good ideas so yeah I like to keep them close every so often this was a fun experiment day with an airbrush thing <laughs> <laughs> that I found at the op shop that was a good time so you may have seen my past video where I finished this sketchbook in eight days I did a, a spread a day for the last eight days of the sketchbook and this is that you can go back and watch that video I'll put it in the description below um, I talked through my process it was a really nice video to make it was a really chill time lots of sketchbook talk there um, just you know even more good sketchbook talk now so uh you know you're all filled all your sketchbook hearts are filled now I'm sure with just my last couple of videos this was a fun day just wanted to play in my sketchbook that day that was all I wanted to achieve and I achieved it I feel like a good one this was an en plein air day I went down to the the park and there were like dandelions in the field, it was beautiful and I just had a really nice time sitting there scribbling, really really loose scribbles and um, you know, figuring out how to make landscapes in a really loose way. This is one of my favourite pages actually of the whole sketchbook. I It was kind of harking back to um, an old art prompt day where I filled the page with squares and then um, filled them with drawings and just I just decided that I wanted to do a page with pansies and I made products I made a sticker sheet and I made uh, art prints as well which you can buy at my Etsy store that's a fun fun fact I have an Etsy store <laughs> so yeah that was a really fun page really really love how that came out and um, 
so pansies are my favorite flower i think they're so funny so grumpy so grumpy but so silly at the same time so i just had to fill a page with them um this day was uh i did this one during a twitch stream um and i was playing with rainbow pencils and black fine liner just was a, another play day kind of a self-indulgent play day which you have to have in your sketchbook you can't be like work 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 all the time you have to have play in your sketchbook here's another good play day i went and visited mel and we drew some flowers that we found on pinterest and instagram and photos that we'd taken ourselves um and yeah i just like went real ham <laughs> with this one with the pencils and had really fun time tried to keep it loose um and play with colors as always that page i did a wash of inks first or watercolor i think it was and then went over the top with the prismacolor pencils those pencils are so good so waxy so good for layering this page was like a comfort zone page so when I don't know what to draw, I will often go in and draw these really soft, curvy bodies and shapes and fill them with flowers, lots of like chunky thighs. That's my comfort thing that I like to draw, So, which I draw a lot and it's a good way to warm up when you don't know what else to draw. Just draw the thing that is your comfort and something will evolve from it, potentially, maybe not. Who cares? Um, I've been drawing these kind of soft curvy bodies for a long time and I just love to do them. So nice. And it's the end. I like to put a little message to myself at the end of each sketchbook and I felt like time to rest was the perfect finishing message for myself. Time to rest. And uh, there it is, my sketchbook. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the sketchbook. Great, drawing is fun. Drawing is my favorite thing to do ever. Sketch, sketchbooks are great and you can use them any way you want. This is just how I like to use my sketchbook. Um, but there is no wrong way, there's no right way. There's only in between those two things. But you know, yeah, you can do whatever you want with your sketchbook. I have already actually started my next one. It's the same brand it is also from Z to Florence it's just a brown covered one this time and I'm I'm well into it I've already been working in it for almost a month so um, I'm going into this sketchbook with the same sense of play and splashiness and silliness and joyfulness I just love drawing and I need to remember that almost every day like filling your cup with the gumption to draw it can be hard to get up and draw every day and I don't want you to think that I am prolific and that I draw every day it's definitely a, a bell curve and I go up and down all the time um, I might spend a couple of weeks without even touching it sometimes I might fill like five pages in a row um, also, while I've got you here, I just wanted to say a big, great, big, sparkly, heart beamy thank you to my patrons. You are the beams of my heart, love. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me and being there for me. And I love our community. I love sharing my work with you. Love being vulnerable with you. I love hearing your stories back. Um, just thank you so much for your support and big kisses to you. You're the best. Uh, couldn't be here without you, I guess. So that being said, thank you so much for watching and being here. And I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video or on Patreon or Instagram, wherever you decide to come say hi. Uh, great. See you later. <laughs>